Merry Christmas, everyone. I apologize in advance for any background noise you might hear. There are dogs barking, people are over. I'm trying to push this video out before Christmas Day. It's still Christmas Eve here in Florida, but we only have a few more hours to go. Uh, so I'm trying to trying to finish this one up quick. Uh, but there is a lot of info to, I guess, go through in this video. I'll be comparing the Cryorig R1, which is a beefy, enormous cooler, with the Dark Rock Pro 3 from Be Quiet, which is also a beefy, enormous cooler. Each have their pros and cons as expected. I have my own preference. I'll discuss that at the end of this video. But what we'll be doing is putting these on the same platform. They'll both be on top of a 5820K overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz and 1.32 volts. It'll be an open air test bench. So it's, these aren't the temperatures that you'll see in an enclosed case. Uh, but nonetheless, every variable is exactly the same. The only thing I have changed uh, is the cooler in each of these runs. So you're gonna hear, you'll, you'll see thermals, you'll hear the uh, uh, just a sound test, how loud each gets under full load and at idle. Uh, and then we'll just go th through some aesthetics, how difficult it is to install each of these coolers. All that will be discussed in this video. Here we go. So we'll be discussing several qualities with both of these coolers. I do want to first mention aesthetics, go through what each of these looks like in general, what you should expect out of the box. Uh, in my personal opinion, the Dark Rock Pro 3 looks better. It just does. It's sleek, has a nice black hue to it throughout, uh, apart from the Be Quiet logo on both of the included Silent Wings 3 fans. You'll also find a nice plate up top with the company logo, something I think all manufacturers of large coolers should do. It just makes them look better, more refined. You have you know, a very large heat sink in your case, uh, it helps to have something covering all of that mess, uh, just something sleek and conservative like this. In my personal opinion, I prefer it. And as for the Cryorig R1, totally different approach when it comes to aesthetics. It's not my personal favorite. I do appreciate the white accents, makes it look a little uh, more ostentatious, if you will. This cooler is just about brute cooling capacity, uh, dis dissipating that heat from the CPU. That's really all this cooler is worried about, uh, not so much about the way things look in the case, although uh, I'm sure some would find it more appealing than the Dark Rock Pro 3s. You'll find a thin profile 140 millimeter fan up front, followed by a standard 140, sandwiched between both of its heat sinks. Both of these massive coolers include seven large heat pipes. The R1s are slightly larger and are nickel plated copper. So the Dark Rock Pro 3 and the R1 are different in every way, except for the fact that they're both extremely large air coolers. What I personally found when I tested both of these coolers is that the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 resulted in slightly higher core temperatures, just slightly. I don't know if it's gonna matter to you. It's not that big a difference. We're looking at 86 degrees Celsius on core three, which is the hottest core for the Dark Rock Pro 3 and 84 degrees Celsius for the Cryory R1. I ran the R1 by the way after the Dark Rock Pro 3. So, I mean, if you're worried about, uh, I guess the CPU being torture tested for several hours on end, the R1 went second. So if anything, that one should have resulted in higher core temperatures. We didn't see that though. The R1 actually did come out on top when it came to uh, heat dissipation. But there's still a chance for the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 to make a comeback. Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3, that is such a big name. Big name for big cooler, I suppose. When it comes to how audible each of these coolers is under load and at idle, you'll find that the Be Quiet cooler, as you might've expected already, is significantly quieter, especially under load. Have a listen to the sound comparison. So this is my personal scorecard thus far. It might not agree with yours, but this is how I'm seeing it at this point. 
The Cryrig R1 is the better air cooler when it comes to heat dissipation. That's kind of the point. We got lower core temperatures. It wins that uh, undoubtedly. I'm even get two points for that. But the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 looks better, in my opinion. Give that point to whichever side you think looks better. And it's quieter. That's a big deal for a lot of people. Another point there for the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3. So, I don't know, maybe I'll give one of the R1 for having a shorter name. Uh, but at this point, it's two for two. We're tied in my book. Let's keep going. Installation, another big concern for a lot of people. How difficult was it to install both of these coolers? What you're looking at right now are the parts that I needed to install the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3, and this is all I needed to install the Cryrig R1. Kind of get a sense of where this is going. The Dark Rock Pro 3 was a pain to install. It just was, that's, that's how it is. I had to take this tiny little wrench that at least they included with the cooler uh, and kind of weasel my way around the uh, the nuts to get, you know, screw those onto the bolts to keep the, the cooler secured to the motherboard. I actually had to remove the front fan in order to secure the cooler. That was a pain. It took like 30 minutes. The Cryrig R1, much simpler process. It was beautiful. If I could take the be Quiet's uh, design, the way that the cooler looks, and merge that to the Cryrig R1's easy installation process, you would have the perfect super large air cooler. So with the Cryrig R1 now in the lead, in my book at least, the last thing we should discuss then is price. And the R1 is still on top. I'm using Newegg as a source for this video. Prices are always changing, so do keep that in mind. But right now you can buy it for about 75 bucks, whereas the Dark Rock Pro 3 is selling on the same website for a $20 premium of 95 US dollars. Every now and then though, Be Quiet does like a massive sale on all of their gear. If you can find the Dark Rock Pro 3 for around the same price as the R1, in my personal book, I'm saying all day go with the Dark Rock Pro 3. You might get a few extra degrees worth of core temperatures out of it. It's not a better cooler than the R1 in that regard, but it is significantly quieter, in my opinion, looks much better. Uh, so if those things are concerned for you, the Dark Rock Pro 3 is the way to go. Something I didn't show you earlier on though, both of these coolers are able to cool a CPU better than a 240 millimeter AIO. That's something special and worth noting. So unless you're planning to custom cool your PC, which will set you back hundreds if not thousands of dollars, these two coolers right here are the best on the block. Trust me, if you get your hands on either of these coolers, you'll see exactly what I mean. They're heavy, they're bulky, I'm struggling to just hold this thing up with one hand but they do the job extremely well. I'll say one last thing before I end this video. If you're worried about price, I know 80 bucks is a lot for an air cooler. Consider this, you could purchase a 240 millimeter AIO for 100 bucks easy, right? But you should worry about pump failures, possible leaks, maintenance in general. They're typically loud, the pumps themselves are typically loud. Or you could purchase something like this that requires virtually no maintenance apart from the fans. If the fan dies, whatever, just replace it, no big deal and something like this, or the Dark Rock Pro 3 especially, is very, very quiet. Just food for thought. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. Ow, I stabbed myself. Ah, the motherboard is sharp on the bottom. Give it, a, give it a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. Give it a dislike if you feel the complete opposite, or if you hate everything about life. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I about shredded my hand there. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Salazar Studio. Thanks for learning with us. Mm -hmm.